So this is how it looks like. Um, it's a cream to powder concealer. Um, it's actually for full coverage and intensive camouflage. Um, I got this in what shade am I? Matte medium. So it's a matte. Well, this is very interesting since it says cream to powder, it holds true. Um, this is cream, but once you apply it on your skin, it's going to trans transform into a powdery um, substance. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's so smooth. And because it's the skin, it's, it's because it's a skinny color. Mm -hmm. It's so smooth and it's easy to blend. That's what I like with this. Um, <laughs> it's really so easy to blend. She always said um, eh. <laughs> And it, they said that with daily use, it helps um, skin to be firm and smooth. Um, I don't, the thing is, since it's cream to powder, again, um, I have a problem with this eye under, I mean, with this line under my eyes over here. This is because of aging. So, I can't use, I tried it, the moment I got it, I, I thought I can use it with my under eye circles. But, no, um, I can use it for my under eye area because again it fills into the the um the line and it magnifies the line be maybe because it's a cream to powder so the moment it touches your skin it transforms into a powder and again i can't put powder under here in this area because it would only uh, show the lines it conceals the dark circles but it would bring out the lines yeah, so but circles. this is the best concealer for redness and blemishes on my face. It conceals everything, as in everything. 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 So everything. whenever I everything. have breakouts or everything. the old scarring, I use this um, in the nose area when you have like, um, I have my imperfections over here. This is what I use and it's so smooth and it gives you like a sat mm -hmm. satin finish. So it's very easy to work with. It's so um, smooth. This would actually set very quickly, so I recommend this for um, a facial concealer. And you can uh, purchase this from any clinic um, outlet or the website. This is only $14. Okay, and then the next concealer is um, the Studio Finish. Um, where is that? The MAC Studio Finish Concealer with SPF 35. I am an NC35, so this is the concealer. Um, it's supposed to be lightweight, creamy, discreetly opaque concealer. Um, it's water resistant, fragrance free, and non acnegenic. I thought again, again, I thought I can use it for my under eye area, but again, because it, it lacks moisture it's not really completely matte it's it has a little moisture to it it's more moisturized than the Clinique and um, the Rimmel but um, once it gets the skin um, it it sets quickly and again it fills into the lines under my eye circles under eye circles um, so, um, I don't use this for my under eye area. Um, and it, it also what I notice about it is um, at the end of the day it gets too dry, it gets cakey, which is the common problem for concealers. So, I use it again for my facial blemishes. So, I kind of um, just um, switch from day to day with, um, between these two for my um, face. For my facial blemishes, I use Clinique or MAC. This is also good for redness and um, imperfections on my face, but I don't recommend this for under eye areas if you have if you have lines under your eyes. So um, since it's not too um, it's not too moisturized for that purpose, um, this is sixteen dollars and fifty cents. You can get it from any uh, MAC counters or uh, MAC. Um, cosmetics online um, and the last concealer well I saved the best for last it's the select moisture cover concealer 
I have this. I ha I, I, I think I purchased this like a year ago. Uh, more than a year ago. I'm almost done with it. Um, it's the Select Moisture Cover Concealer. I'm, I'm an NC30 with this. Well, um, the, the ladies um, in the MAC counter that I got this from, I bought them at the same time. Um, no, I bought this first thinking I can use it for my under eye. But since I can't, I got this. So they match me um, um, with what shade am I. So I'm an NC35 with this, with the Studio Finish. And I'm, I'm an NC30 with the Moisture Cover. I use this all year long. This is the only concealer that I use every day. This is the concealer that I use for work. What I like about this, it's very easy to blend. Um, as you can see, it has a li liquid consistency to it. So it's so moisturized and it gives you a natural, satin, smooth, so, moisturized finish. Um, they have a wide range um, in MAC. They have a wide range for different skin color. So um, this is so far, uh, this is the concealer that made me stop my search for the best concealer because for me this is the best concealer ever um this is the concealer worth spending your money on this is the only concealer that works for my under eye circle um this is the, the only concealer that i work i mean that, that i use for work every day i can easily um i use my fingers to um with this concealer sometimes I just do this like I just uh, put small dots and then just blend it with my fingers and it doesn't fill in my lines it doesn't get cakey at all um, it's so moisturized that it um, blends easily into your skin I only set it with for my everyday use I don't set it with anything because it's also good as that, but when I go out, I set it with my my mineralized skin finish. Um, so guys, if you're looking for the best concealer on this planet, this is your answer. Yep, this is the best concealer for under eye um, circles. But the best concealer for your facial blemishes is the Clinique or the MAC. Well, between the two, um, this is one not higher. This is also good, but I like this better. So, um, um, this Neutrogena is um, the best concealer um, for amongst drugstore concealers. It comes close to this, but Neutrogena is thicker. That's why it's a little bit harder to blend compared to um, Max um, Select Moisture Cover. Um, so for the best, for easy blendability, this, this is the winner. For the most moisturized, this is the winner. Um, for, this is, this is actually buildable. So it, it, you can, you, you can use it for, um, medium coverage to full coverage. So, um, it will last you a long time too. I've, I've, I've had this for, um, a year plus. And I think I'm almost done with it. So it's only $16.50, but it's worth every penny. So guys, if you're looking for the best concealer, again, this is the answer. If you don't have access to this, or if, if in a way um, there's no chance you can get this for some location reasons, this is the, the um, this comes second to this for under eye circles okay so again I don't want to describe this more because for me this is the best so everything that describes the best concealer would describe this this is the answer okay guys so I hope I was able to help you and if you have any more questions suggestions or recommendations just um, type it below under the comment section and please 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 if you haven't subscribed yet please click on that yellow subscribe button okay thank you so much for watching and um hope to see you soon bye